All right, what's good, people? So some good news today is that my Cronus Max ended up finally coming in the mail. Now, I was like one step away from getting really pissed off. being like, you know what, Amazon? Stop using USPS for your fucking delivering of packages. I was getting so, so pissed off because whenever I order something and it's even worse when the shipping company lies about having attempted to deliver it, it just pisses me off. I'm pretty sure it would piss anybody off and rub anyone off the wrong way. But it did come this morning, and the product actually really pleasantly surprised me. I'll do a whole video about it. I might double upload tomorrow. I might have the Cronus Max video and then like a regular COD video because I don't want the Cronus Max to just be the video that I post tomorrow. So I will probably make a video on it because a lot of people wanted me to, and it's a product that people are hesitant to buy because of the reviews. But I'll do that video tomorrow. I just want to let you guys know that it came. So, yeah. So, today on the official Call of Duty Twitter, we actually got yet another Black Ops Zero Awakening map reveal. The first one was Skyjack, which I didn't really have any knowledge of it until it was too late because I guess I was really busy that day when that one dropped. And I had no knowledge of it whatsoever, so that's why I didn't make a video about the whole Skyjack teaser reveal type thing. But today we actually got Splash. Now, I'm not 100% sure if they're just doing these little tidbits of information, little tidbits of the trailer, because, like... I don't know, they've never done this before, and we haven't gotten an official trailer, which kind of makes me believe that we're probably not going to get an official trailer until, like, maybe the day before, or maybe not ever, because, I don't know, they've been really weird with the Awakening DLC trailer, so there was a little teaser trailer for Splash. Once again, this is not on YouTube. You would probably have to go on the official COD Twitter to go see it. I just, I have no idea why they would do it in this fashion, but... Nonetheless, at least it's some sort of information that we've been asking for. So since I missed the Skyjacked one, I didn't make a video that day about it, I'm going to kind of mesh together the Splash and the Skyjack video. I'll go over Skyjack first. So, with the Skyjack little teaser thing, we got to see pretty much like an overhead and little bits throughout the map. It wasn't that long, it wasn't too in-depth. We're going to have to wait once again to see how the map actually plays, which I'll make plenty of videos talking about the maps and whether I liked them and just showing off different parts of them anyway. So... The Skyjack map, I like the way it looks. I like the color scheme. Nice, bright, vibrant color schemes. Not gray and washed out like Advanced Warfare and Ghosts. Now, as far as the whole theme goes, the theme is amazing. I like it. It looks futuristic. It looks just fucking amazing. But, I didn't really like how Hijack played in Black Ops 2. So, I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to play in Black Ops 3. Now, I have a feeling it's probably going to play pretty good because I don't like Nuketown. Like, I didn't like Nuketown in Black Ops 2. I liked it in Black Ops 1, but not in Black Ops 2. New Town of Black Ops 3, good map. So hopefully Hijacked, or in this case Skyjacked, will carry over the whole, it wasn't that great to me in Black Ops 2, but it's good in Black Ops 3. Overall though, Black Ops 3 is just a much better game to me than Black Ops 2 ever was. That's just my opinion though. Moving right along into Splash. Now, I'm going to come out and say this. Splash is probably one of the most appealing maps I've ever seen to look at. Like as far as visuals go, and as far as how I like to look at it, which sounds fucking weird, I know. Splash looks really good. The colors contrast, they complement each other. It's just overall a very colorful, vibrant map. Hopefully it plays as good as it looks, because if it was just based off of looks right now, I'm pretty sure Splash wins, like, one of the most gorgeous looking freaking COD maps I've ever seen before. Which is weird, because normally the Infinity War type maps look a bit more realistic, whereas, like, the Treyarch maps look colorful and cartoony. Not the case. The Black Ops 3 maps look really, really good. Like, they kind of have a nice balance between realism and the color scale because with Affinity Ward and Sledgehammer maps they looked good but they were kind of gray and washed out. With Treyarch maps they had very vibrant colors but looked a bit cartoony. I know that really didn't bother a lot of people but it didn't bother me either. I'm just making an observation. So as far as like aesthetics go, Splash looks fucking amazing. I have really high hopes for this map pack because a lot of the maps in Black Ops 3 I like with the exception of Havoc and overall I mean they've had years, a little bit of extra time to work on this including the DLC. So hopefully the DLC just knocks it out of the fucking park and hopefully we're all very happy with the DLC. I can't imagine not being happy with the DLC considering the fact that Trek really doesn't disappoint in the DLC department. So as far as looks go, if we're judging purely based off of looks, the Awakening DLC maps are fucking solid. But just because they look nice does not mean that they're going to play nice at all because like I said before, Nuketown and Black Ops 2 as well as Hijacked in Black Ops 2. I like the look of both those maps, didn't have any complaints about them, but for me, they played like absolute garbage. I hated playing on both of them. Hopefully, these maps live up to how they look, hopefully they play just as nice they look. I'm pretty sure they're going to because Black Ops 3 has pleasantly surprised me so far, so hopefully it continues to do that. But overall, I am so excited for the Black Ops 3 Awakened DLC map pack simply because the content that the game has right now, it's not necessarily dry. It's just getting to that point where it's becoming more underwhelming as the weeks go on. Like, yeah, you like things, and as soon as you're just surrounded by it, 
a lot. You're just like, eh, I want something new. So hopefully it will deliver and I cannot wait to share videos with it. I cannot wait to make a ton of videos on it because as a content creator, half the time when I make these things, I'm experiencing it with you guys. If that makes any sort of sense. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of Awakening DLC videos. And I'm going to be experiencing the Awakening DLC alongside you guys because typically I tend to record videos and stuff about DLC like as soon as they come out and as soon as I get my hands on them. Anyways, videos coming to a wrap here. Thank you all so much for watching. Come my video on the Cronus Max up tomorrow along with another upload. Don't forget to rate the video. And as always, take it easy.